Hi guys, this is the second part of a previous video where I had explained how to install LUT as well as how to shoot videos with baked in LUT or only use it as a display assist. So if you haven't watched the previous video, please do so before you start this one. In this video, I will be showing you how to expose videos with baked in LUT. I will do some tests and also show you some sample videos. In the previous video, I have explained if you want the LUT to be baked in. After installing it, you should go to the place below PP11. And now I will shoot a footage correctly exposed according to the metering on the monitor. And the other one overexposed by 1.7 stops. Now in the Windsor Resolve, I'm putting the two footages side by side and evidently the overexposed footage looks better. And if we go to the color page and try to lighten up the shadow area of the correctly exposed footage, you can see it becomes very noisy. Now the second test, I'm not going to bake in the LUT onto the footage. I'm only going to use the display assist to see how the final work will look like. So I will go to LUT shooting, enable it. And if you are not sure which profile you are using, just go to the main menu page. And here you can adjust which LUT you want and whether you want to show the display assist or not. Now I will take another video correctly exposed and the other one overexposed by 1.7 stops. Again, in DaVinci Resolve, the two footages side by side, you can see both footages are still not color graded. In the color page, I will choose the exact same LUT as I used in the camera LUT display. We got a very similar result as in the previous test. The correctly exposed footage looks pretty dark, and if I adjust the shadow, some weird color appear, and the video quality drops. On the other hand, if you think the overexposed footage is too bright, you can easily drag down the highlight area and it still looks pretty good. And if you compare the result of test 1 and test 2, looking at 4 footages altogether, I actually don't see any noticeable difference between the baked in and the display footages. I hope these two tests clear things up. Because in the previous video, I got a lot of comments asking me how to expose videos with baked in LUT. One essential thing we should know is that whether this footage has baked in LUT or only the LUT display, it is still an SLOG3 footage. The only difference between these two options and shooting in SLOG3 is that you can view the final work on the camera monitor. So it is basically just like SLOG3 Gamma Assist. You will still have all the properties of SLOG3 profile, which means you still have two base ISOs at 640 and 12800 on the ZVE-1. And a lot of people still have this confusion that maybe we should expose the baked in LUT footage according to our own eyes instead of overexposed by 1.7 stops according to the metering on the monitor. I think this is not wrong. It's just when I overexpose about 1.3 or 1.7 stops, the light and shadow happen to look right according to my eyes. So there's actually no conflict between these two options. But I think trusting the metering would be a better way to measure how to expose. If you still have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you think this video is helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.